Here we have a very nice looking 2009 Volvo XC60 in silver. The car's in lovely condition as you'll see throughout the video. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, this looks like a fairly new tyre so we've easily got a good 6mm plus. Looking at the offside front alloy, as you can see there is some curbing around the top of the alloy so definitely going to require a refurb to that alloy. The uh, rest of the alloy is in nice condition. Again, we've got a little bit of curbing towards the top as well. Take a look down the offside of the bodywork. Having a good look. Uh, I personally can't see any uh, dinks or dents at all down there. Uh, offside front arch, a couple of little touch-ins here will be needed. Apart from that, looks good. Driver's mirror is in nice condition. Driver's door itself, the one or two light scratches will need a bit of a polish. The rest of the door is fine. Uh, again, light scratch there. Door edge, just one or two very slight little nicks in the door edge there may require some touch-ins. Door seals are fine, you have your roof bars on top. Rear passenger door, again looks very clean, uh, just a couple of scratches behind the door here as you can see. Again, they are very light, can't really get my nail into, into them either. Rear door edge is fine, rear arch, rear quarter, all appears to be in good condition. Again, the rear tyres, you can see there's loads of tread there, so that's a brand new tyre again on the rear, so front and rear tyres are new. Rear alloy, taking a good look at the condition. A little bit of a curve mark there on the outside edge. Apart from that, it looks fine. Moving towards the uh, rear end of the vehicle, as you can see, you do have a tow bar on at the rear end of the car, as well as rear parking sensors. Bit of a chip there, and the paintwork will require smart repair. Apart from that, there's a couple of scratches. Um, there's a scratch that I can just about get my nail into, so I might need a bit of paint. Apart from that, there's a couple of lighter scratches that will polish without a problem but no sign of any damage inside the boot you have your parcel shelf and sort of dog guard in there, nice condition um, underneath the tray here as you can see I've got your spare wheel in there which is brilliant that's all in good order moving around to the near side rear tyre and again that's a brand new tyre on there, easily 6mm plus rear alloy, taking a good look at the condition and again, real clean, no sign of any curbing at all there. Looking at the near side of the car, now it looks like the rear doors had some paint. Um, you can definitely see the filler in the rear door there. Um, so look at the reflection compared to the front door. Uh, so definitely had some paint to the rear door. Um, just be wary of that. There's a scratch behind the door there. That should polish. A couple of scratches on the door itself. They should mop out. Again, some light scratches. Some of them a little bit deeper than others, such as this one behind the front passenger door. Front door edge is fine, mirror is good, um, front arch is fine, and the front tyre easily a good 6mm there. So all four tyres are brand new. Uh, curb mark on the near side front alloy. Looking around to the rest of the alloy, again a bit of a curb mark on that side as well. We've run to the front end of the vehicle. Uh, looks fine, there's a couple of light stone chips on the front end of the car, again just requires some touch-ins and then a couple of stone chips on the bonnet of the vehicle as well. Now take a look at the interior of the car you do get the full black leather interior and as you can see it does look very nice, there's no sign of any damage at all to any of the interior slight bit of wear into leather but again that just happens over age. Rear seats are fine and again it does look well inside Get your driver's seat again, that's good. The bolsters, slight bit of wearing to the leather, but again, that's good. Electric memory seat, front passenger seat is in good condition as well. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, the uh, dashboard sense console is all in a nice condition. Uh, steering wheel is looking good for its age as well. Now, we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle, as you can see on the video there. And just look at the dash whilst they start the vehicle. As we can see, there's a maintenance overdue light indicating on the dash, so just be wary of that. 43,163 mile on the clock, so a good mileage for the vehicle's age. It does seem to run totally fine, though. I've just taken it up and down the road, doesn't seem to have any issues. Uh, Multifunction steering wheel with cruise control as well. As you can see, a little screen up there, there's no issues at all with the radio, that's working great. Um, heated seats in the car as well. Um, great for weather like today, it's freezing, uh, so that's working good. Air conditioning does come out nice and cold, uh, so there's no issues there, no issues at all with the blowers either. Um, now you've got here what looks like a screen, uh, however there's no sign of any button, any uh, functional button for that screen, um, so just be wary. 
Now, if that is a screen that comes with the car, there's no button to say it's got navigation. Um, so no navigation button or anything for that screen there. Um, so it's just the, the screen at the top which seems to be working. Uh, looking at the paperwork, looking at the V5, uh, we've got two owners on the vehicle. MOT certificate, we're looking at October 22nd, 2015. And looking at the service book, it is full of Volvo service history, which is brilliant. 6,000, 3,000, um, 8,000, 17, 28,000, um, and a bit of a jump there to 34,000. Um, so again, plenty of service history with the car, but it is overdue service as we speak. So there you go guys, that's the 2009 Volvo XC60 SE. Some lovely specs of the car as you can see through the video, also in nice condition with four sets of brand new tyres on it as well.